The match is set and Nissan is ready to serve up its latest concept vehicles at the 2019 Tokyo Auto Salon next month. Brand ambassador and Japanese tennis grand slam champ Naomi Osaka helped design a funky X-Trail, you know it better as the Rogue compact crossover SUV that looks like it may have rolled off the set of a Marvel movie. Apparently, the little SUV's matte black and gold exterior was inspired by one of Osaka's favorite hats, and it also sports a black interior with tan leather accents. Also on display is another partnership with the tennis star, but this one will be offered to the public, a limited edition Nissan GTR in Midnight Opal. A tasty shade of dark purple with a tan and black interior that Nissan says Osaka helped choose. It's also available in white or black, and Nissan says it will build 50 of the special GTRS. It features LED high-mounted brake lights on its carbon fiber rear wing and gets a numbered gold plate under the hood. The car will only go on sale in Japan and pricing will be announced at the show. Nissan also created the Wacky Juke Adventure concept complete with snow tracks and a white, black, and neon green livery that looks like bit like a leftover from Nissan's Star Wars tie-up. It's the latest in a string of tracked vehicles Nissan has created over the past few years. The Juke is no longer available here but continues to be sold elsewhere in the world. The Japanese automaker will also show a boxy Ilgrin Sports Premium concept minivan a Nissan Formula E car, and a handful of other cool toys that will probably never make it to our shores. There are currently no new compact vehicles with a truck bed on the market. Full-size trucks like the Chevy Silverado, Ford F-150, and Ram 1500 are massive and even the Colorado, Ranger, and Jeep Gladiator aren't exactly small. Small cars with truck beds such as El Camino, Ranchero, and Rampage are long dead and even the Australians have given up on utes like the Ford Falcon and Holden Malou. Realistically, the only way to buy an affordable truck that isn't enormous is to get something like a Toyota Tacoma. While an old Tacoma will likely get the job done, it isn't what we'd call sporty and used prices are abnormally high compared to other vehicles. Luckily, there is one forgotten ute out there we think you could buy if you are in the market for a small, sporty vehicle with a bed, the Subaru Baja. Why you should buy one? If you've never seen a Subaru Baja before, you're probably wondering what the hell it is. The Baja was a small, unibody vehicle built with a bed of a pickup truck. It was sold in the US for just for four model years, 2003 to 2006, before it was discontinued due to slow sales. All Baja models were built at Subaru's US plant in Lafayette, Indiana, and shared a platform and bodywork with the legacy Outback. Subaru marketed the Baja as a multiple-choice vehicle, though limited advertising and controversial styling hindered sales. Only 30,000 were built during the four-year production run despite Subaru planning to sell 24,000 per year. Even so, the Baja won numerous awards, including the Consumer Reports 2006 highest score for reliability in the pickup truck category, and has since earned a cult-like status on the used market. When it was new, the Baja was offered between $23,000 and $28,000 depending on year, engine, and options. Despite being over 15 years old in some cases, the Baja has managed to hold its value relatively well, not unlike other Subaru models. Not all Baja models were created equally and there are two very specific features you should be looking for a manual transmission and a turbocharged engine. When the Baja was first introduced in 2003, the only engine option was a 2.5-liter Boxer 4 producing 173 horsepower mated to either a 4-speed automatic or a 5-speed manual. In 2004, 
Subaru introduced a more powerful turbocharged motor, which bumped output up to 210 horsepower. By 2006, the turbocharged EJ255 motor produced 230 horsepower, which is not too shabby for a roughly 3,500 pound vehicle. By no means is the Baja a rival for a full-size truck, given its measly 885 to 1,070 pound payload towing capacity. However, if you only need the bed to haul smaller items and are willing to sacrifice payload for performance, the Baja is an ideal motor. Even with the automatic, the Baja will hit 60 mph in 7.3 seconds and complete the quarter mile in 15.7 seconds. Since this is a turbocharged Subaru, there are tuners out there who will be happy to extract more power from the EJ engine. In terms of cargo capacity, the Baja offers 42 inches of bed space, which trails Chevy's failed sporty pickup, the SSR. Subaru knew the bed capacity was a bit small, so it cleverly designed an opening into the cabin for larger items. With the rear seats folded down, the Baja allows for nearly 7.5 feet of space. There was also an optional bed extender, allowing for even more space. The trade-off for the small amount of bed space is improved fuel economy. The most efficient Baja, an automatic non-turbo model, was rated at 21-28 MPG City Highway. Opting for the turbocharged manual model lowers these figures to 18 and 23 respectively. Some modern pickup trucks can match these figures, though trucks from the same period weren't nearly as efficient. Clearly, the Subaru Baja isn't for everyone, if it was, it would have sold better when it was new. Still, the Baja offers a unique experience for people who want a small, sporty car with the usability of a pickup truck. With a bit of tuning, the Baja has the potential to be an enthusiast's turbocharged dream truck at an affordable price. Earlier this month, Nissan announced that orders for its super high-performance GTR 50 by Etal Design are now open. Limited to just 50 units, the GTR 50 celebrates the 50th anniversary of the Skyline GTR in the 50th year since the establishment of Italy's iconic design house Etal Design. It is the first Japanese car to be priced at over $1 million. Nissan has priced the car on the international market at 990,000 euros, a sticker price that translates to 1.13 million US dollars. Japan's second biggest automaker first revealed the car to the public at the 2018 Goodwood Festival of Speed in July by inviting GT Academy's first winner and Nismo racing driver Lucas Ordonez to drive the car up the famous 1.16 mile long hill climb. Then, to further lift interest levels in the hypercar, Nissan took the car to the Spa-Francorchamps circuit in Belgium, the Rolex Monterey Motorsports reunion in the US and finally to Nissan's high-profile showroom in Tokyo's Ginza area, the most expensive part of real estate on the planet. Penned by a collaborative effort between Nissan's American and European design studios, the GTR 50 is based on a production 2018 Nissan GTR Nismo but was developed, engineered and built by Ital Design to incorporate special high-performance parts from Nismo's GT3 racing program. These components include GT3 race car spec turbochargers and intercoolers, a heavy-duty crankshaft, reinforced pistons, connecting rods and bearings, a new exhaust, upgraded the cooling and oil systems, and of course strengthened the six-speed, sequential dual-clutch gearbox. As one of the world's most highly acclaimed automotive coach builders, responsible for creating numerous exotic supercar concept cars, Ital Design utilized its expertise in interpreting and rendering Nissan's design and then building the complex hypercar. A two-toned grey and gold color combination is what the GTR 50 is all about. Key styling elements include a pronounced power bulge on the hood, 
outstretched LED headlights that intersect with a huge front air framed in gold. The coupe also gets a lowered roof line, a new 3D interpretation of the GTR's iconic round brake lights, a McLaren style pop up rear wing, and standout samurai blade cooling outlets just out of the front wheels. The power upgrades enable the limited edition model's 3.8 liter V6 twin turbocharged engine to generate a whopping 710 horsepower and 575 pounds FT of torque. 145 more horsepower and 108 pound-feet more than a base GTR. Nissan's Global Design SVP, Alfonso Albiza, says the GTR 50 is the answer to the question, what if we created a GTR without limits, and then got to build it? This GTR 50 is a realization of every Nissan stylist's dream. It's replaced the GTR's function over form design brief with form can be as important as function in a supercar like this. If you have a spare million stashed down the back of your sofa, then you can place your order for one of these limited edition GTR 50s with Ital Design or access Nissan's specially dedicated website. Nissan staffers say they enjoyed this extracurricular activity with the world-class Atal design and that other limited edition projects may be considered in the near future.